Hey everybody, it's Laura, also known as Sephora Junkie, and I'm back with a random video. I've been getting a lot of requests about my eyeshadow collection, so I thought I'd show it to you guys. Um, this is actually my new setup. I put another desk or table in my um, scrapbook room because I'm running out of room on my other table. So yeah, I think this Mac addiction is getting pretty bad. But hey, you know what? It's fun trying and it's fun... Uh, trying on different looks and uh, collecting so anyway let me go ahead and show you um my eyeshadow collection okay i'm gonna start off here i have um my mineralized eyeshadows um this was from the uh recent collection i forget what it's called oh my gosh i'm, I'm blanking out i'm sorry but um so let me go ahead and show you this one here is play on plums and i believe this one here is pink split And this one is Love Connection. And this one is Fresh Green Mix. Uh, this one is Sea and Sky. And this one here is um, Polar Opposite. And this one is Hot Contrast. And this one is Odd Couple and Two to Glow. Okay, so I think that was, I think I had completed that collection. That was all, um, I believe, nine, nine of them. So that's, you know, that's that collection. And then I have my, my four paint pots. I know it's so sad. I only have four. Um, I have this one in Painterly. And I have um, Lay in Low. Then Rollickin, and this is my favorite artifact. It's a really nice purpley color. Let's see if I can open that. I'm always having trouble opening this, and I guess I should have this open before, but I don't know why. I always close these so tight because I'm afraid they're going to dry out. So that's artifact. Sorry, I couldn't open it again. Um, I've made random quads. Um, this one here has a carbon... Um, print. I believe that one is rice paper. I think it's rice paper. Oh no, it's vanilla, excuse me. And then this one is, ah, oh my gosh. Of course this happens. Oh, that one, I can't, oh, you know what? I can't remember that color. I, I you know, I, the thing about it is I just, you know, I have a bunch of eyeshadows that I depotted. And uh, when I first started getting into depotting, I didn't know about the labels, like peeling off the labels, so I just chucked or back to Mac the containers with the labels on it. So now I have a few eyeshadows that haven't, um, they don't have any names. So if you guys figure out what color that is, let me know. All right. Um, and then there's some other um, quads here. This one, um, just two of them. I think this one was Pink Mink, which I destroyed during a depotting accident. I think that was my first eyeshadow I depotted. And then um, this one is Foley. And this one here. Oh gosh, it's so hard to do this. I'm sorry. But that's my other, it's like a neutral quad. Um, I also have my shade sticks. Uh, this one is Shimmer Sand. Shimmer Sand, uh, Lucky Jade, Beijing. Topographic, Silver Blue, um, Royal Hue, Gracious Me, See Me, and then Shark Skin. And I think Shark Skin is back out again. Um, they're doing a re-promote on it, so I'm thinking about picking up another one because this one's really nice, especially if you want to have your um, eyeshadows pop. I also have um, the three quads from the Cult of Cherry collection. This one is the Tempting Quad. Um, Spice Chocolate Quad, and the Shadowy Lady Quad. And I also have um, the Heatherette uh, collection. Uh, well, the two Heatherette um, shadow um, palettes that were out. And this one is Heatherette Trio 1. And then this one is Heatherette Trio 2. So that's that. And then I have um, the Fafi collection um, eyeshadows. This one is Fafi Eyes 2. And this one is Fafi Eyes 1. 
And then I have the one palette that I got from uh, the CCO. And this one is from the Novel Twist collection. Okay. And then I have my um, eyeshadows. Now, these ones here, um, majority of them are the ones that I've depotted. But, um, you know, a lot of them I don't have, a few of them I don't have the names. So I also bought some of the pan forms as well. Um, I labeled it using a Twix Betwixt um, method. And she uses micro, or sorry, she uses Excel actually to label her palettes. So, and actually that's a really fun idea. So I decided to do that. So let me go ahead and show you my first palette here is, um, I think I mixed this one with the, oh, uh, what is, is it? Electro Flash. No, Star Flash, sorry, Star Flash Collection. And um, the first one here is Grand Entrance. Then the second is Dream Maker. And then Bold Brazen is this color. And this one is Go. Glamour Check. Sunset B. Lotus Land. Top Hat. Talent Pool. Star by Night, Smoke and Diamonds, Mink and Sable, and then this one was Vellum, and then Copper Plate, and then Soba, okay? And then my next palette, again, like, you know, just random colors. Uh, the first one is Tilt, then Parfait Amour, Scene, um, contrast, Wedge, Saturnal, Cranberry, mm, Sushi Flower, Expensive Pink, Star Violet, Woodwinked, All That Glitters, Goldmine, Thunder, and then passionate. Sorry if I'm going too fast, uh, ladies and gents. It's just that I there's a lot of shadows, and I'm already at seven, almost eight minutes. So, okay. So this is the palette, my neutral palette, which I, you know, again, this was my first palette that I ever got, and I just started depotting like crazy. And as you can see, some of the I wasn't able to get some of the colors. So if you guys know what these colors are, let me know, or what you think they might be. <laughs> So I can probably label them. I was thinking about bringing this to a Mac store and getting the MAs to figure it out because I can't remember. All right, so the first one here is Shroom. That's actually a must-have. This Shroom and Vanilla are like great highlighter um, colors. So I know someone was asking me about the neutral palettes, and I actually really recommend those ones. Um, this one is Symmetry. And this one, I don't know the color to, so if you guys remember, let me know. Um, this one is Fake. This is Foley, and that one is Malt, and then that one is Handwritten. This one, I don't know what the color is. This one, I don't know what the color is either. And this one is Bronze, and I got another Shroom. So there's Shroom here, and then Quarry, and then Embark, Romp, and then another random color, which I don't know. So if you guys know what those colors are. So that is my neutral palette. And you know, this really makes it so much easier when you're doing videos because um, the the names are written on here. And when you're just, you know, t you know, spewing them out, you can just tell exactly what color matches up with what shadow. So, or what name matches up with what shadow. So anyway, rambling, rambling, sorry. And then this is my pressed pigments. I'm so, you know, proud of myself for this because I tried really hard with the pressed pigments. Um, I have a bunch of pigments and I wanted to, I got the pans from um, Coastal Scents and I used Encore's method. So you guys check out his video for that. It does a great job. And at first, you know, I was kind of nervous because it looked too clumpy, but it, it came out fine. So let me go ahead and show you my pressed pigments. I love the colors and you know, it doesn't affect the, um, the color payoff too. It comes out really nice and they're so much easier to work with with less fallout. So just thought I'd let you know. Um, okay, the first one here is Pink Opal. 
and this one is fairy light and this one is lark about and lark about ladies if you have that it comes on so pretty i love it um this one is kitchimus and then fuchsia and this one here is heritage rouge this one is rose and then there's tan and then gold lemon and then mutiny and then this one is cornflower bell bottom blue golden olive antique green and teal so that was my pressed pigments and um this is basically my whole um, eyeshadow collection. So if you ladies have any questions, let me know. Also, I wanted to let you know that this is going to be, um, actually, today is the last day, for, or today at 12 o'clock is my last, um, it's the last day for my contest. Oh my God, I'm like, meh. So yeah, it's um, the last day for my contest, so get your entries in. And um, I will be announcing the contest winner on Sunday. So, um, you know, I'll um, announce it then and uh, good luck to all the entries and I want to thank you all uh, for subscribing and showing your support. All right. If you guys have any other requests for videos, let me know. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.